All right, my friends, how you all doing? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a fresh episode of our City Zoo Build, Tropical Wings Zoo. So we're back in TW Gang for another fresh episode and this time we're here for part two of the sea lion habitat, our sea lion experience that we have built for Tropical Wings Zoo. If you've missed last episode, it's linked above for you my friends, feel free to go and check that one out before having a look at this one because there's parts of that that I'm not really going to be talking about in today's episode or at least looking at in a lot of detail because there's lots of other stuff that I need to be showing you. So I'm not going to talk too much today, without further ado, let's get into this one. So here we are gang, we are at the entrance of Tropical Wings Zoo and I'm going to be showing you the finished sea lion experience habitat uh, in today's episode. There's a few little bits and bobs that are not done, doesn't really impact the actual um, habitat itself. Um, it's mainly planting and we all know how I feel about the amount of planting that I have to do in this project and uh, I just run out of time basically. As I've been saying to you guys, whatever happens, I'm going to be getting an episode of this series out every single week. I basically just ran out of time uh, on the planting. Everything else is pretty much done uh, and I'm buzzing to show you what we've built. Also, if I seem maybe a little bit quieter than I usually am, my wife's trying to get the child to bed at the time of me recording this but um i've not really done too much else gang i've only really done the sea lion habitat and i'm going to give you a little view of it off in the distance there you're going to see it is monstrous it does take up a lot of room but at the same time i still feel like i've actually nailed the scaling of the actual habitat i feel like i've really nailed kind of like the the depths um there's one thing i probably would have done different and i'll talk to you at that about about that like when we get there um but other than that like i really really feel like this is uh it, it's really really good stuff now um first thing i'm going to show you though before we really take a look at the sea lion habitat is obviously you will know about all the backstage stuff that we were doing in the last episode and i said that we were going to splinter off in this direction as you can see i have now splintered off in this direction these are going to be the behind the scenes gates um i think this one i'm probably going to pull this back a little bit further but for now it was just to kind of give me um, a reference point of where they were going to go but these are the behind the scenes gate this path is going to go up and around eventually and join the backside of our habitat there's going to be lots of other stuff that's going to be built out around here and i'm going to talk about that in the what's happening next episode um because i think it's a really good thing to kind of talk to you about future plans and whatnot um so yeah it is eventually going to kind of like join up with the rest of the zoo but that is the other part that's kind of splintered off um before i show you what i've really really been up to i just want to show you um like what i've done um, additionally to this part of um, the sea line experience before I throw you over into the newest part and you can already see like uh, a big uh, piece of um, what we're going to be looking at today um, and that is that um, I've got all the planting done now which is really really good started getting in all the railings and whatnot um, I'm actually thinking of taking all this wood off of the top of the walls I think I'm going to leave it exposed um, it's going to be way too much work and I don't actually think it's that necessary so we're probably going to be taking that wood off the walls um, what else have I done I've got all the planting finished off back here mainly because we've got this new building in we've got all the walls in I'm going to show you all this in a lot more detail in a minute but all the planting's all done now got some trees and whatnot in and i really feel like it just fills it in beautifully uh, my friends now um the sea lions currently can't get into this part of the habitat unfortunately um i've designed this with the doors being the right size once the small hitbox mod is updated now i've actually spoken to the creator of that mod and they are going to be updating it at some point um and um they've just been really really busy um when they get the time they're going to do it so that'll be that's great that's good to know that it is going to get updated so this will all um kind of eventually work what i'm thinking of doing is just making one of these doors slightly bigger and one of the doors and the back slightly bigger just so they can get access uh, to this part of the hab so that it doesn't become um, useless because um, we are going to be doing our animal talks and whatnot in here but um, yeah this is really really finished off now I don't really have much more to do um, in this part of the sea lion hab which is good now the other bit that I want to talk to you about before we crack on with the main event in today's episode is this little section here that's kind of been left. Um, I've got some planting left to do here like I've already said that's the main thing that I haven't got finished but I'm not sure 
what to put in this little gap here and I want some suggestions from you guys and um, it's the reason why I've left it like as this really ugly mess because I didn't really feel the need to like fill it all in um, because I want to put something there now I'm either thinking about some sort of statue design potentially like a fountain type design or even like a little gift shop like a tiny little gift shack if you're thinking about a couple of episodes ago when I did all of the food uh, shacks and that maybe one of those small shacks but like a gift version of that potentially maybe something like that in here let me know what you think would be a good addition to this little bit of space now what I'm going to do is zoom all the way out gang so you can see the whole habitat and all that I've been working on in all of its glory now as you can see this has been a monumental task but it's been a complete labor of love I've really 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 enjoyed this one I mean, really enjoyed it. Um, more than I thought I would, considering that I'm not the greatest where water's concerned. Did I say that last episode? Well, I'm going to be saying it again this episode. Um, but it has absolutely come out exactly how I want it. The only bit that is a little bit off is this bit here. I went too deep, but... By the time I realised I'd pretty much done the area and it would have been a nightmare to dig it all out and try and sort it out. So I've just left it where I've left it, but I still think the hab is looking awesome. So let me walk you through it, gang, so you can see it in all of its glory. So the first bit we've got, um, which is almost like a separate piece on itself, a bit like the, um, the show area, is this underwater viewing gallery kind of area. Now the way I've designed this is obviously the staircase is going down. There is one uh, little bit of wheelchair access as well because we don't want our disabled guests to be left out. Um, but I've, just, I've done it with this staircase design and then on the stairs there are some larger steps that are designed for seating basically. They're designed to be uh, sat on um, so that you could sit there and look into the habitat. And the bottom, there's two bottom steps where I've actually managed to sink some seats in. Um, so the only way you can actually walk down is down this staircase here and actually down the um, wheelchair access uh, point there and then what I've done is I've designed these staircases so that we've got some hidden benches in these larger bottom steps basically and we've also got a bench in the uh, in the main bit as well just so there's some nice seating because I think it would be a cool place to kind of um, for our guests to kind of take a load off and it would be a cool place to sit and look at the animals um, so let me just flip it around so you can kind of see what I've done first so as you can see I've dug it out I went a bit too deep though um, I actually went to the bottom of the um, the bottom of the tank area, I guess you could call it, the water area, and I wanted to go about half a meter a meter up. Um, higher than that I just kind of forgot myself when I was digging it out it, the terrain tools are so difficult aren't they that um, you know you just kind of lose you lose yourself don't you um, when you're kind of working on this stuff but um, I really like the way this has turned out I love the way the staircase looks um, you know the stairs all come down if I come inside here so you can see those larger steps that I've kind of designed to look like little seats that you could sit on uh, and then obviously your wheelchair access is up that way all really nicely planted um, you know, a little planter in the middle as well, and then uh, it all kind of levels off, and then you kind of get to this little viewing kind of window area. As you can see, I've carried on with this kind of like stone design. We've got some really cool plants, the way they're all growing over the walls and whatnot. Once all this is kind of finished off planting, I think it will look really, really cool. Uh, and the same again this side. Uh, and then as you can see, we've kind of got this little uh, viewing window with this little cover over the top. We've got some higher steps here. The smaller kids can jump up on there and kind of get a better look and whatnot, and it's just a cool way to get right up to the glass as you can see the water comes to there the glass is just there that's actually um that there is about three meters of water there's some deeper points in the pool but this is about three meters and i wanted the window up to be about two meters of water but three meters actually in there but it is what it is so that's the first little bit and then you're going to come out of the stairs and you're going to walk around this way. Now, something I want to say is I've kind of separated this to make it look on, it's like it's on its own. So I've got this darker pathway here. You're going to see there's lighter path there, but I've got plans for something at the back and I'm going to reintroduce that darker path before we go back to this normal grey as we work our way into the zoo. So I just wanted to show you that to kind of show you that there is some different uh, uh, the bits where it's differentiated, basically. We have got some wayfinders. Um, I'm going to be working working on all of the signs um, ready for next episode, but I'm going to talk more about next episode towards the end of today. Um, and uh, yeah, we carry on walking here. What I love about this 
this is we've got all the planting that's all growing over now I kind of got left with this big gap in here and I've decided to just fill it with plants and I actually think it looks really really cool and the great thing about it is is all the plants are all cascading over the edge uh, even all the way into the water and I just think it gives us a really really cool look uh, there we know how wild I wanted to go with the plant in and out natural we kind of wanted it to look and um, I feel like I've definitely got there now walk, um, walking up this way we come to this weird little viewing window now basically the gap between the underwater viewing and the main viewing was so large that I felt like it was a bit too much so I just wanted to add a little something now from this angle um, it's you know it don't look much does it but on the other side there's actually like a little rest area for the seals that they can use um and um i'm gonna maybe put um like something up here maybe a, a ball or something just to kind of get them to come up here a bit more um what i'm thinking of doing is you've got this little roof here i might put the i might put a little roof there and then what this will become is like a covered little area for the seals to come uh should they wish to get out of the sun and whatnot i think it'd be a really cool little area to put but it also it gives you a little sneak peek as you're walking along into the sea lions habitat basically let me carry on walking this way. Uh, as you can see now, this plaza has all been finished off. This is where our little food hut was, one of uh, uh, the few that we did in that episode a couple of uh, episodes ago. So this is all finished off. I put another emergency access gate in. I felt like it was the perfect place for it. Um, we've got one over there and then we've got one here and I feel like the access here um, would be really, really important, especially if you were over in the sea lines to go out that way. Obviously, if you're near the crane or in the gardens, then you would go that way. Just two quick exits and we'll probably do something similar to this um, a bit further up the zoo as well. Um, so that's what, was, what the thinking was there. Got some drainage in and then we come to uh, the next part of... Um, where we're going to go into the main part of the sea lion habitat. Now, what I'm going to say is a lot of people might think that I use too many like steps and things like that when it comes to like terrain changes. And I guess I do, but, but, but trust me when I say this, there are some really, really subtle ones in the zoo as we go around. Like there is actually a really subtle terrain change there. Like if you actually look at that, you can see where the terrain change is level. I do kind of work around it, but when you're doing custom floor and it is easier to kind of use steps and things like that. Um, but, um, you know i think for this area i think the steps were needed i feel like we needed to kind of dress it up a little and make it look um you know like it's its own thing because this is a big part of the zoo basically so um we've got these really lovely steps lovely bit of planting i've gone with a lot of cypress trees um for this because i wanted it to look a bit dressier like as you can see like there's cypress tre cypress trees as well behind uh, behind the hab and whatnot and I feel like they really just kind of bring some height and a nice bit of pop of color and whatnot so then we come up this way gang and we now come to the main part of the sea lion habitat there's three viewing areas um, there's a lovely little seated area in the middle there's a little splash zone towards the back and then I'm going to talk about these little plots here because I'm a undecided basically what I want to do with them um, I feel like the planting needs to be really different in the in these this one here I'm actually thinking about doing a playground but just because of what I'm thinking of doing here basically um, but this I feel like it needs to be smarter planting if we do plants I think it needs to be really really smart what we put in there so um, I've kind of left that free for now because I was really undecided what I wanted to do um, but if we were to come over to our viewing areas gang this is what we are dealing with for our sea lion hab and uh, this is what our guests can see now what I've done is I've basically got these um, these guard rails basically for the guests then there's like a retaining wall it's like a natural kind of like retaining um area then you've got your concrete wall and then from there that's where the habitat is from the two um habs that we're looking at this is the way they went with it um sea lion uh, sound which was the one um that I was talking about last uh, last time, um, this is the kind of design they went with. And so I, it was the one I liked the most because you get the green in there, you get the planting in there, and you can kind of just mix up the materials. And I think the more materials you mix sometimes, I think the better your habitats look. And um, this is definitely a case of that. You know, we've got a nice little planter in the middle as well to try and bring some shade to the area. Um, and then we've kind of like just gone with this, um, with this design, with the um, rope and the wood and whatnot. I really wanted to introduce some rope. I just felt 
felt like it's very nautical um, and I really wanted to kind of like bring a little little something um, to the hab basically uh, doing that so yeah this is the first viewing area as you can see uh, over into their kind of rocky bay um, I've obviously been sharing images on the discord and uh, a lot of people were like those are jagged rocks how the hell have you achieved that and it's all with the fake rocks basically there's one in particular that's a kind of a long one and if you rotate it on its end and then just kind of rotate it you know in a 360 fashion you know just maybe go you know 20 degrees then go 100 degrees and so on and so on you can get lovely little shapes and then just raise and lower them and this is what you get basically Basically, you have to keep doing it over and over and over again. I created about four different types and I've just been combining them. And as you can see, it does get a little repetitive in places, but um, I really, really feel like it brought something to the hab um, and it looks really, really cool, doesn't it? It looks really natural. One of the sea lions there in the water. We've got two of the bad boys at the back. We actually have six sea lions. I decided to go, uh, go quite big on the amount we were going to get. Um, as you can see, just a bit of planting in the middle, just kind of planting it all up. I'm going to show you all of the guest areas first, then I'll show you all the sea lions areas, then I'll show you the backstage and whatnot. Uh, and then we continue going up this way. Um, again, there's another viewing area. It's very similar to that first one. We just kind of rotated it a little bit to give you a different look. And if you go right to the front, this gives you a bit of a closer look, um, you know, here. The only thing I don't like is that you can see this backstage gate, but I had to leave this quite wide for the sea lines to get in and out. Uh, it's just one of those things, basically. Um, so yeah, couldn't quite disguise that. Maybe once the small hits, hitbox mod comes in, I might be able to add a couple of things to kind of disguise it, but uh, for now, it is what it is. Uh, but yeah, it's a really kind of different view from here. Um, again, you know, just so much going on, isn't there? And when we get round here, you're going to see that this is uh, this little area here. I kind of built this with the intention of it working the way this sea line is using it, which is really, really cool. Uh, if I flip you around, this is like a little seated area for our guests, uh, which I really, really like. Um, something else as well I probably should say is this wall at the back is permanent, but I do feel that we potentially need a fence that goes slightly higher, um, and we run it all the way along this, because... Um, this side of the fence, uh, this side of the wall obviously isn't too high, but if you were to fall, that's quite the drop, isn't it, into the park? Uh, and I would worry about kids basically climbing on the wall and potentially falling. So, um, yeah, we might need to, you know, introduce something, maybe another fence. Let me know if that's something you think potentially we should be doing. I don't want to take that wall any higher because it's going to look really, really large on the other side, um, you know, of the... Uh, of this basically um i had to move all these plants out and i'm not happy with um where they are basically i feel like I've, they've gone back a bit i feel like we might need a few plants in here to kind of like pack it out a little um and then yeah this is the other kind of area um that i kind of built for plants but this one as i say it might turn into like a little slide and a swing nothing too much just a couple of little bits to go with the bit that i'm going to put here but i'll talk about that in the, what's happening next this was a fence design i was going to go with um i decided against it but i like it enough that i might use it um, still basically that's why that's there um, kind of ignore it uh, and then if we flip around here I've added a little splash zone um, I was kind of looking at a few different uh, parts like in zoos um, there was um, oh what was that one I was looking at it was like um, it was like coast like um, coasts of the world or coastal um, it was like a big building it had the aquarium and loads of different bits in it basically oh I'll need to remember the name of it and uh, share that with you uh, but it had a splash zone and I really really liked it now this is only tiny like when I didn't want to go crazy um, because obviously we don't want too many kids here at one time what with this being the sea lion habitat um, but I did think to myself like this with a little um, with a little kind of playground um with um you know what i'm going to put here i think it makes sense and so i kind of added this tiny little splash zone um obviously i've just used the water jets to kind of get the water to come up and then i've actually put one of the bubble machines in and i really feel like it adds something you've got all the little bubbles floating around um and i really really like that uh just uh just a little bit of detail went with some nice blues and that sort of tone because i think it kind of works well with the water um so yeah we've got a nice little splash zone and then we walk around here we come to the last viewing area and 
And this one's a special viewing area, this one. It's only tiny. But what I've done is I've built like a little very shallow kind of like beach area underwater there. Um, and uh, I built these raised like rocks because I had the intention of the sea lions potentially like going on top of them and kind of like perching themselves on there. This bad boy came over and did exactly what I wanted him to do. Um, I was not expecting them to be able to use it but they do use it and it's really, really cool. So yeah, just had this little shallow kind of beach area here and I wanted to put a, a little viewing, um, you know, area so they could look. And then you get a really like lovely like look back here as well uh, at the sea lions and whatnot. So yeah, I think that we've nailed all of the little viewing areas, all the planting and whatnot from like a guest perspective. Um, the next bit I want to show you is obviously I have been making additions to the behind the scenes. Um, so if you will remember that this was the only building we had last episode, all of this was empty. There was literally nothing here. As you can see, there are still bits that need doing, but I've left it because I can't really finish that until I know what's going next to it. Um, you know, where I'm going to put fences, where walls are going to go. You know, there's no point trying to finish things. This space here has been left for the plant room. So basically that's where all the water tanks would be for this habitat. I'm just going to build a building in there basically, and that will be like the plant room um so that's why i've saved that space and then over here i'm probably going to do like a little staff room and then uh like a little parking area and whatnot because that would be the transport for the animals in and out um i didn't really want to put the transport all in here because we had this path going through so instead we're going to put um you know like a, a little facility back there um we've still got to do some bits back there anyway so uh, it kind of makes sense to do that um but yeah i kind of added another building so i kind of mentioned last episode that this wouldn't be able to house too many sea lions and really this would be used more on show days and show times like um i feel like that would be the main use for the uh, you know the intern uh, internal area of that building so i decided to build this little thing on the side now what this does is this part of the building here is um, another kind of like a habitation area it's like an indoor area for the sea lions where they can chill out and sleep and whatnot uh, got their pool and whatever in there and then we've got this little building on the side which is kind of like staff services building um, so if you're wondering why we've got this really irregular shape the actual buildings so like if you want to build to scale you need to build you need actually need to take things down about a meter you need to take your building sizes down a little bit like because the stuff in the game is actually pretty large now inside here is the, is a kitchen and that's as high that's how high the kitchen is that gray piece there they're so large that you can't get them to scale so you've got to get clever and it's one it's one of the reasons why i've had to, had to do the roof different and stuff on here as well um so yeah it was really really difficult to kind of get it bang on how i wanted it to be honest with you um i don't think it looks too bad i feel like we've we've kind of um we've nailed it i feel like the building style it's nice to have a bit of a change as well because this is kind of like the stuff that's guest viewing this isn't this is behind the scenes so it's nice to have a little bit of a change but essentially this building i've done in the same style as uh this building because it's inside and it's guest facing um and then this building done it slightly different now the access to this is through here um, might sound weird, um, but that's basically how it's been designed. Whether or not a zookeeper would actually be able to get in there, probably not, but I don't really think it matters for the purposes of of the game. The stuff still gets cleaned and whatnot. So let's take you through this door first. So this takes you inside to the, um, this takes you into the staff side. So basically what I've done in here is we've got a kitchen and then I've built like another little storage room, basically. Um, or you could put a little table and some chairs in there and it could be like a little staff area. Um, but essentially, uh, just another um, uh, building. So you're going to wonder what these steps are for and why that door's there. Now, essentially, this ground here is higher than this ground here. So we needed to have a clever way to kind of get them back together. But yeah, this building's actually higher up than this one. It's really, really subtle. But I kind of like it. I feel like it's a detail that like really adds something, um, you know, to the build. So if I take you back inside, the stairs go up into that area. So yeah, you've got your kitchen there. So we've got a, a, a kitchen that's just for 
the sea lions. No, no other staff are going to be able to use this. It's just simply for the sea lions. I feel like we needed something like that. And then, like I say, this room is just an empty room at the minute. But yeah, it's just a tiny kind of little room. Got my custom windows in. You all know how much I, I love making everything custom. And then uh, we've got our, our zookeeper on his way over by the looks of things. And then, yeah, if you were to go up these stairs, you're going to see there's a couple of little windows there as well. But yeah, if you go up these stairs and you go through the door, you actually go into another area for our sea lions, basically. So here's another indoor pool. There's another uh, couple of uh, little areas that can be sectioned off in case we ever need to separate the animals. Um, and then there's uh, a bit of room in here, basically. So essentially, it's just another little indoor area. And what's cool about this is if you look out the windows, you can see uh, all of our show area that way. And then if you look out this window, uh, you can see the show area, but you can kind of see all of the little beach that they uh, perform on, basically, and the little access gate there. So yeah, it was just another addition that I feel like we needed. Um, I didn't think we had enough room, especially with the amount of sea lions that we wanted to have uh, in this build. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what I've added. And then behind the scenes, you're going to see we've got our gate here. So that's, that's the one that goes into the hab. Wanted the kitchen to be just located on the outside, not too far. This is the way in, basically. They go up here, and then they're on habitat. Um, so this is all new as well. I finished all this off at the back. Um, we basically stuck in a bunch of walls, and then I used it to like put some mulch in and then get these plants that like, have been climbing up over the rocks because I just wanted to add something um, to the build. Um, and then we continue up this way and obviously we've still got the more wall, more plants and whatnot that are kind of rocking all the way up. And then I need to find a way to kind of separate this from our animals. Um, so I basically put this wall in. There's a little space there for another tree actually. We could probably put another little tree in there. It might look quite nice. Um, so yeah, I wanted to kind of like stop the animals from going in this area. I wanted this to be completely staff only. Um, so we just put these little gates in. And then you walk this way, and then there is another gate the other side because it comes to this other section. You know, you remember this was built last episode, but we've now finished all this off. So we've bought all the wall round so that the animals can come through this way and out here and onto the hab as well. Um, this is a bit tighter. I don't think they can use this at the minute because I don't think the space is um, big enough um, because the... The, each item has its own kind of hit area, and I think the, it's quite large on these rocks, but once the mod's updated, then this, none of this will be a problem. Um, but yeah, I think they can just about get through certain bits, but they can't use this one. Um, but once that's done, that mod, I'm going to open this gate, basically, because I want them to be able to use all of the area and have loads of little different places and ways they can get in and whatnot so that the whole hab gets used rather than it just being um, for us to look at and enjoy so yeah, that's all of that. And then I guess the last bit I really need to show you is all the sea lions are all back here for some reason. God only knows why they're all back here. But yeah, the last bit I wanted to show you is just basically where the sea lions chill and have fun, basically. So we've built this big kind of rocky kind of beach uh, all the way along the back of the habitat. Um, when I was building it, I was looking at everything. God, it's so large, isn't it? But when you look at the size of the sea lions and how many we've got, actually, I don't think it is that large. Um, I don't think it's, it's too big at all. Um, and then, yeah, we kind of worked their way around this way. They've got a nice little area here. This goes out onto that little beach, as I was saying. So if I just show you, look, you can see there's a lovely little shallow area um, in here. And that's like that little beach area that I kind of built. Um, and then, so basically, I've, I've represented the bottom by using the mud pieces. So the bottom, so wherever you see the mud, that's the very bottom of that sort of kind of section. And if there's kind of rocks or whatever, it's just for decoration, essentially. But I feel like that's the good way to kind of represent that. Um, so, yeah, that's the little beach area there. And then if you were to flip round, obviously, this is all of the area um, for the seals along the back. And then what we're going to do is we're going to dive under the water so you can see what it looks like under here. So this is the um, underwater viewing area. Now, I feel like I need to add something over here to kind of draw them over um, because I don't see them swimming up here that much. So I don't know if we need to put um, like one of those anchored um, buoys under here or because I've got a food thing not far away. Um, I've sunk the food things down. So we've got the food things in here, but I'm just not sure. I just don't see them coming over here too much because obviously I have kind of tested it to make sure that they can dive in that. Um, and then if we go this way, as you can see, I've gone real, real 
um, top notch on the decoration where the guests could potentially see. So I really wanted to have all these little rocky outcrops and stuff along the along the sides, and then you know some fallen rocks and whatnot uh, underneath. And then we continue to go kind of this way, and then you can see that the 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 kind of um, the decor kind of lowers a little bit. Like I haven't gone as crazy, kind of like in some areas. Um, I might add a bit more at a later date, but I just feel like it would be pieces for pieces sake because we're not really going to spend too much time under the water. I haven't gone crystal clear with the water either on this side like I have over in the um, other bit because I feel like this would have a bit more of a murky kind of look to it. it it's, it's clean and it's clear, but I don't think it would be crystal clear. Um, as you can see, I put one of those little boys in. I love what them use that thing it's really really cool um there isn't a lot of other stuff for the sea lions like they've got the shower thing but i really don't like that it's a pain in the ass to try and get that into the hab and then they've got some balls and whatnot and i just don't really like seeing that stuff on hab because i think when you go to the zoo you just don't really see it do you i don't know tell me if it's just me um, and then, yeah, you can see one of the little dudes is having a little swim. Carry on going this way. And as you can see, the kind of detail levels uh, continue. Um, and then we go up this way. And then this becomes like a bit of a shallow shallow area um, up here because we go up onto that little beachy um, outcrop. And then I've gone a bit more detailed up here just because we've kind of got the beach um, area. And then as you can see, that's where the beach is up there so yeah lots of swim room um they do swim they do dive they do use it properly and that my friends is the new sea lion experience at tropical wings zoo i hope you've enjoyed that it's taken me the best part of two weeks to build okay gang so let's move on to what's happening next and basically i'm going to fill you in on what's going to happen for next episode uh some of my potential ideas for additions to kind of this area and then the actual episode that i'm going to concentrate on building for next um so first things first let's just um talk about um uh, the bits that I want to add here, basically, before we do anything. So there's obviously gaps that have kind of been left. All this is pretty untidy at the minute. Um, but what I'm thinking of doing, and this won't be for next episode, um, you know, or the one, uh, well, it might be, it might be. Let me just see what, how much time I've, I've got. But essentially, I want to put a restaurant in here i think it's the perfect place for a restaurant i really really do if we put something uh you know I mean, not too large but just a nice little restaurant here um i feel like some nice like bigger open glass windows looking out onto the sea lines would be pretty good that's why i wanted to put like a little playground in here because i think it would go hand in hand with a restaurant um and what i was thinking with this restaurant as well is having a door going in and there being an upper level and then like a staircase going down and then we have a, another kind of like level to the restaurant down here so we have a bit up here um a bit down the bottom basically um so it's kind of like a nice way to kind of transition um the um, terrain difference basically i think it would be pretty cool to kind of do it that way um and then obviously we've got this uh there would be a terrain change outside the restaurant as well i think that's a given um and then um yeah i think we need an animal in here i think around about here we had that restaurant there we need a kind of animal in here i don't think anything too large something a bit smaller i was thinking potentially like the prairie dogs or something like that but yeah something kind of needs to go in there so then i can bring this um pathway around join it up join it to the restaurant and then um you know i can finish all this little backstage stuff here essentially uh, and then the other thing as well i need to get the other part of the camel have finished as well um at some point that needs doing so that's basically a couple of things that i'm thinking of doing in here um let me know on the potential animals that you think uh there um, and then next episode, what I'm going to do before announcing the next kind of build, the next episode is going to be a cinematic episode. So I basically said last time that when the sea lines were finished, which these are pretty much done, there's just some planting to be done. That is literally all I got to do. Um, we would be officially opening the zoo to the public, and then I would be doing a cinematic episode. Uh, so um, yeah, that's essentially what we're going to do next time. I'm hoping to get that done relatively quick, so hopefully it'll be out in a few days' time. Um, I, I basically 
basically the this week and next week are uh, really hard weeks for me to get content out. Um, I've had stuff going on and then next week my wife's away. So it's just me looking after Emily for the week. Um, so it's going to be pretty tough. But I'm going to try my hardest to get something uh, recorded, sit down, recorded, get the zoo open to the guests. So finally we have guests walking around the zoo all the time. No more shutting it, no more empty zoo. Lots of people have been asking to see that. So that's what we're going to do for next episode. And then as far as what's actually happening next and what we're going to do for the next episode... We're going to be doing the African safari area. Now, I did a poll, didn't I, uh, a while back, and the sea lions won the poll, but the closest animal to, and I think it was only 10% in it, was the safari area. So I think it's only fair that that's the next bit I concentrate on. Um, now, this I'm going to do, like I've done the sea lions, I'm going, I think I'm going to do it in parts. I need to build it all in one go, but I think I'm going to represent it in parts. So obviously the sea lions have been a two-part thing, um, and I think that we will do the safari area in parts. I I would imagine the safari area is going to be three, four, five parts. It's going to take a while, but because I want to get something out every single week, there will always be something to show you. Um, so um, that's going to be the next bit. That's the next build. That's what's happening properly, properly next as far as building is concerned. But you're going to get a cinematic uh, episode as uh, as uh, the main kind of deal. Um, for next time so yeah there's lots coming basically where planet zoo is concerned and tropical wings in general um so what i want from you guys before we crack on and before we move on and finish today's episode uh, your ideas where this is concerned that would be really appreciated do you think we should go for a statue a fountain potentially like a little gift shop idea that would be great um let me know about what you think about an animal down here as well. Obviously, we're going to have that restaurant and whatnot, but I do think we just need a little animal in there just so we can kind of transition round. Nothing too large. I don't want to go too crazy, especially as uh, I've already noticed that the frame rate's dropping ever so slightly where the water area is concerned. Uh, and then, yeah, just get hype for what's coming in Tropical Wing Zoo. So there you have it, my friends. We're done and dusted for another episode of my favourite series that I've ever made. Obviously, Tropical Wing Zoo. I've really, really enjoyed this one. Uh, enjoy the cinematics. These cinematics are going to be quality today because um, this is the first proper water uh, hab I've ever built. Plus, the sea lions are pretty cool and the swimming is just amazing. So yeah, enjoy the cinematics, my friends. Uh, let me know what you've made of the build as well. Uh, things you like, things you don't like. I, I, you know, I always appreciate your feedback, whether uh, it's good stuff or you're constructive with your criticism um i always appreciate it my friends but uh, i'm done and dusted uh, if you're new around here please consider hitting that subscribe button it's very much appreciated by me uh, drop a like on the video if you've enjoyed it uh, not only does it help the series but it helps the channel in the long run because it helps more people find my little pocket of tinternet but anyway my friends i'm off skis uh, stay safe stay humble and i will see you next time <laughs>